Welcome to another video by DJ's PRC. Today we have one of the latest uh, 3D printers from Curiality in pieces. This is how it comes out of the box. It's the Curiality Ender 2 Pro. Now this printer is not a, a big printer. It prints by 165 by 165 by 180. It's a great little small printer. That's one of the reasons, personally, I got this one. Uh, I do have access to two other printers that I have in my printing room that are the Ender 3 Max. The Ender 3 Max does 300 by 300 by 340, if I remember correctly. It's a big bed. Don't get me wrong, it works awesome, but sometimes I just want to print a small piece. Um, and that's where it becomes a little bit harder. A uh, simple reason is I need to heat up the bed completely. Um, let's say I just want to print this test cube, the XYZ cube. On the max, that's big for the max. If it's not big, should I say that this is very small? Uh, a lot of times I just want to print small stuff let's say like this guy right here i need to print a second one but you put bearings and you, you're able to put a roll for your cricket when you want to do some uh, vinyl stuff extremely doable on the max but i just wanted something a little bit smaller and creality came out with this guy here they had a first version uh the ender 2 been discontinued, discontinued a while back ago and they decided to bring the pro version out I'm not gonna lie I, it's been what two weeks I have this machine working and I like it very much if you're looking for reliable machine to print no bigger no bigger than 165 mil by 180 this is you you're gonna love this machine uh, there's a lot of characteristics of this machine comes from the Ender V, the Ender 3 Pro. Uh, magnetic bed levels on the underneath to level it. There's four of them. It's a heated bed. There's a lot of printers out there that's the same size that's not a heated bed. And me personally, I prefer a heated bed. The power supply is 150 watts. SD card, micro USB, if you want to plug it onto like an Octoprint. Uh, all my machines that I have run on Octoprint and I just love it. A lot of people will say, oh yeah, it only has uh, the Z axis just on one arm. I said the same thing too in the beginning, but once I start using it, I went, wow, it's barely any play in it if there's any just keep a bigger eye on it when you print after a while you might need to change your uh, your sliders uh, they are plastic they do use up they're dirt cheap and yeah this is when you get take it out of the box you will have the uh, main arm you'll have the body you'll have your LCD your filament arm and your handle with a couple of assorted screws. And one of the first thing you're gonna grab is the two longer screws and the two kind of shorter ones. Oop, oh, these guys right here. These you don't need right now. You're gonna take your main arm you're going to sit it on top of the printer right here. I know you won't be able to see it with the camera here, but the two smaller black ones, they go right here. Just make sure you're aligned.
And don't don't do like me. Grab the correct screws. They are the three mil. And you would need at least a 2.5 screwdriver. Or you could use the provided X screws. I just don't like using the X screws. The Allen keys that they, they provide. And you just screw it down. Don't fully tighten them. Just snug them. I'll tell you why in a, re in a second here. Now you're gonna want the super long ones. We need to go underneath the printer. You'll see where it is. These two here, a little, it's a little bit hard to see for some reason. Go straight down where the wires are. You'll see there's two places to insert the screws. Do the first one again, don't snug it, don't tighten it all the way in. And just be careful when you do tighten these guys in or screw them in, not to nick on one of the wires underneath here. Now once that one's, you can tighten that one, do the other one. Then flip the machine back up and tighten the two top ones. Now, once that's done, on the side here, you'll have two connectors, a three pin and a six pin. Six pin will go in your motor. That's your Z. And this is your stopper for your Z. And then you'll have your E, that's your uh, extruder. Then you'll have your X. And then you'll have your it's again called X, but I can't remember the name exactly of this stopper. Your X stopper, should I say? That plugs in, in the hole here. Your back one's already plugged in. Your main power for your bed's already plugged in. You have your power for your LCD here. You have your LCD. There's only one way it goes in because it is keyed. Mine did come with a kind of a tape holding it, but I use it to hold the back. And you'll see there's two, a little bit harder. I don't know why I don't have a, my lighting. Two uh, stumps or bumps, or whatever, and they key in the side of the printer and you press down. Now once you do that, you'll need this part here and the arm. This is for your filament. This inserts and you twist and you key it on the side right here. There's only one place it can go. And then you grab the longest stainless screw and you will need a three mil screwdriver or the three mil uh, Allen key. Screw it all the way in, snug it and stop. That way you'll be able to put your filament on it and this arm can twist. If you ever want to bring it somewhere, you can close it up like this 
and basically leave with it. And now you have your handle that goes on top right here. And again, this guy here, you'll need your three mil again. And if you look on the SD card that's provided from Curiality, and you don't like this arm, they provide you some you can 3D print if you want to change it. That's one option I saw from Creality that I kind of like. And you have your machine fully built. The only thing that's left is level your bed. What I would suggest is basically turn it on, do a auto home, the bed will adjust itself and then your extruder will come down and just then you'll be able to do a, a bed level. Uh, there's a lot of misconceptions about bed leveling. You do not put a level on your bed. Basically when you're leveling it, it's the corners of your bed to the nozzle itself. The machine could be leveled no problem but it's just between. I do have a video showing on my Ender 3 Max how to level a bed. Um, but what I was thinking maybe on this guy here, I might put the CR Touch from Curiality. I'm just not sure. There is a couple of modifications I want to do with this guy here. Uh, on my other printers, I do have a light bar that illuminates the bed. I want to add one to this guy here. Uh, I want to change the springs for a thicker spring to stay level more uh, longer, should I say? Because when you do remove the the physical pad itself, sometimes you can basically move your bed and take it out of level. Uh, there is a couple of mod, mods I want to do to this, like I said, maybe future upcoming videos. If you have any questions or comment, post down below. I'll be glad to show you guys, and I will post uh, a video in a video for time lapse, seeing it print. It's an awesome printer, like I was saying. I do recommend that, no problem. Uh, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, post them below. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching.